Adobe just dropped their Firefly video model, and to sum up this whole video, it's not really usable at the moment. In this video, we're going to do a first impression overview of this new feature, so let's begin. Alright, so let's head to firefly.adobe.com, where we can see that there's a new video section with some new features like text to video, image to video, and then translate video. We also have two features mentioned here that are coming soon. One is enhanced speech, probably something similar to Adobe Podcast, which allows you to enhance your audio to sound professional. And the other one is text to avatar. Let's start with text to video, where we are welcomed by a promo video and the familiar Firefly interface. Let's play the video in the meantime. And one thing you should notice is how all these features are still in beta, which is mentioned in the promo video too. If we look closer, we can already see a downside. You have these premium buttons which let you know there are some limitations. So this text basically says that you're limited to only two free generations. Keep in mind that it's two generations even if you're already subscribed to all the Adobe apps. That doesn't sound really good considering this feature is still in beta. And let's check the pricing options as well. We have 11 euros a month for 2000 credits, which is like 25 second videos. Then for 32 euros, you get 70 short videos. That's a pretty bad deal, considering that with ChatGPT+, Plus, which is 20 bucks, you get unlimited video generation through Sora. We'll probably cover that in a future video as well. I mean, after all, this is still in beta, and it might improve in the future, but currently paying for this doesn't make much sense. On the left side, we can choose to generate a full HD video at 25 frames per second, and the camera settings. You can choose the shot size, the angle, and the motion. I think that's really helpful, because you can basically choose the right kind of movement. Okay, so let's add a text prompt and click on Generate. This actually turned out pretty good. Let's play it. This looks kinda cool, even though you can still see some artifacts in the video generation, but I think that's pretty common. It also moves just the way we wanted to. You can also add start and end image frames. That obviously works with different photos, but I was curious to test out what happens if we add the same photo to create a loop animation. Let's wait for the generation, which actually takes pretty long to get done. Here we have a few things that make Firefly unique. So we have the commercial safety, then setting new standards, and then the fact that they have a Discord server. That's interesting, but I don't think that's really what makes it unique. Let's browse and see some of the content that was created with Firefly AI. Okay, so for the videos, you can definitely see when the pause is happening, but some look good. The video is ready, and it actually turned out pretty good. There's some weird movement with the book and cat, but that can be masked. But yeah, we can't try more, because as I've said, we're limited to two videos per user. To be honest, this latest push for AI-driven features feels a little disconnected from what the core user base values most in the Adobe products. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Do you believe this is a topic worth exploring further, perhaps in a future podcast episode? We'd love to hear your insights in the comments. Don't forget to visit the Creative Society website for design resources, music, and more. If you want to continue learning, check out this other video on the screen. Thank you, and see you next time. This is Creative Society.